Um, Alright guys, this is the... What happened was... That, um, I had... Um, Snake... And, uh, Fox, the Fox dude or whatever his name is, visits Snake in the hospital and tells him that there's a mission that's going to happen or whatever. And then six days later, he's ba he is right here. I had to skip the part because it's, like... It freezes a lot, and it takes like a half hour for that part to happen. And I skipped like the whole part. So, yeah, it starts off, or whatever, it just talks, he's just talking about, uh, basically the mission is that, if you haven't played the game at all, it's the mission is that, like, you have to go destroy, kill Volgan, or you'll, he'll tell the mission objectives right in a second on this cutscene, but, uh, it's like, he, they, they thought that, um, that we were the ones that shot the nuke, so we gotta like tell them that we didn't do it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Right here. Rescue Sopalum. Find out what happened to the Shagahot. Then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake. Because I'll be taking on the boss at our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volgan. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahot. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> the wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. <clears throat> you must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yeah, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But... But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. That's why I got my arm broken and the mission was a failure, sure. you dick. In fact, I even ordered the actual <clears throat> film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't Asshole. sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is one four zero. Point eight five. Oh, hear me swallowing is because I'm drinking something because for my throat and my cold because of fucking. We fail, she'll have her medical as you know, if you already watched this, vi watched the first beginning of this video, then yeah, it's because it's the same as during the virtual because I got a cold right now. <clears throat> she'll be recording your mission So uh, right now I'm eating something that supposedly helps me with my cold or whatever. I don't know what it is, but. Point this looks six. really nasty. And there's one more person on your support team. His so, name is Mr. Sigurd. He's an expert what on kind of name is that? weapons Mr. and Sigurd. equipment technology. Sig. You're going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigurd, got it. So lucky they're already Your programmed. KGB contact is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area has been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. <coughs> no one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. 
You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent. Yeah, but sorry about the skipping part. I skipped half the intro. Which is good for me because it's a long cutscene still, but... It will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. So, yeah. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Okay, finally, we can play! I'm so happy. We get to play some gameage. I love Metal Gear Solid, it's so fun. Fucking equip your fucking handgun. There's no guards, you don't have to worry about it, there's just a run by. Just run on by like a ninja. Little ninja snake you are. <clears throat> Ninja flip. Wee. What the fuck? You hear that? See that? Shoot at that fucking horse. Look at that fucking horse, I'm gonna shoot it. Is that it? If I shot the horse, it would be a terrible time paradox. Hmm. I guess you can't see the horse. It would be cool if I shot the horse. <clears throat> There's that fucking horse. It's just a horse, you know, bird guy, you know? There's no one riding it, you know what I'm saying? There's just, there's just that lonely ass horse. Just chilling. Boss! That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? What do you think I'm here for, buddy? Don't break my gun, you stupid bitch. Aw, oh, you bitch. Fuck you. You know what? Fuck. You know what? Go. Fuck. Now on, you are my least favorite characters in the game, bitch. Yeah. Even though you have more heart. Okay, Ruin my sons are waiting up ahead. We have all heart. I mean, you don't have a game, prayer. Except for... You're not even armed. Shut up, bitch. Go home. Boss. Flip. <laughs> Flip me. I'm not your boss anymore. You're a bitch. I won't punch you. You're lucky There's I can't hit a girl. Wait, wait, not already hit a girl. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. You're a bitch, you know that? This isn't a matter. Don't shoot that, you stupid hoe. She was shooting, you could have just jugged her. <laughs> that should stir things up a bit. You better hurry. Don't mind that. Now the sorrow comes. Gay ass. Every time it rains like that, obviously the sorrow's here. The so sorrow is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. You did, you don't, I'm bitch. loyal to the end, to my purpose. <clears throat> what about you, Jack? She just admitted that she's not. She's, What's it going to be? That she didn't. Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? <clears throat> you don't know. 
or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. I won't forgive you, bitch. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive. Now, this is the bandana I jacked from you. <laughs> this the bandana I jacked from you. Oh, you if we meet again, I'll kill you. You won't kill me, bitch. Give up. Now, go home.